pleasant good evening to everyone and the listening public. Honorable Dr. John Colin McIntyre, Acting Prime Minister. Honorable Kenneth Daru, Minister for Health and Environment. Honorable Ivo Stevenson, Parliamentary Secretary, Ministry of Health and the Environment. Other cabinet members, representatives of the Yunnan Construction Engineering Group Corporation, Mr. Wang Quant Hu, First Secretary, Embassy of the People's Republic of China, staff of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, CARICOM Affairs, and the Ministry of Health and Environment, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. I am delighted to be to welcome you this evening to the signing ceremony of the con construction contract between the Hunan Engineering Group Corporation and the Ministry of Health and the Environment on behalf of the government of Dominica. Today indeed marks a landmark occasion in the history of our ministry. The signing of the long awaited contract for the new national hospital is an exciting moment for the Ministry of Health and the Environment as it promises new, new endeavors and a sigh of relief and some closure. Let me at this time take this opportunity to express my thanks to the Honorable Prime Minister for his efforts in negotiations with the government of the People's Republic of China. Honorable Prime Minister, we have indeed received funding for a gift of national importance. In June of 2007, a hospital building committee was selected with the mandate to provide certified plans for a facility from which new and modern health services would be accessed. Several meetings and consultations were held subsequently to prepare a design brief for the hospital project. Several meetings and consultations were held subsequently to prepare a design for the hospital project. In December of 2011, the preliminary brief was completed. Shortly thereafter, in October 2012, a team of organized a team organized by the Beijing Institute of Architectural Design was dispatched to Dominica to conduct a feasibility study and other investigations for the project. In October of 2013, the Chinese firm China IPPR International Engineering entered into an agreement with the government of Dominica to provide designs for the project. Due to the complex nature of this project, negotiations and consultations for a final set of drawings continued up until September of 2015. The Ministry of Health and Environment also had the privilege of the support of the United Nations Office for Project Services, UNOPS, through the services of the Pan-American Health Organization. The organization provided a high level of very valuable support and advice during the complex process of negotiations. The construction of the state-of-the-art new national hospital will cover in summary the following areas. Demolition of buildings, construction of new structures, purchase and installation of new state-of-the-art medical equipment, two additional standby generators, landscaping and reconstruction of roads and installation of external solar high system. We are, of the, we are aware of the challenges that is expected but not daunted by the task of this project. It has been exhaustive planning and consultation to ensure that we got the best for our citizens and we look forward to a successful outcome. We express sincere thanks to our technical team and to our other stakeholders and for the support given by the government of Dominica to ensure that we had a swift 
finish. In our plan to continue, it is our plan to continue to inform the public on the various aspects of the services to be considered in this new hospital in not too distant future. I am very delighted again to welcome you to be part of this historic occasion. Thank you. Okay, at this time, I will now call on the representative from the Hunan Construction Engineering Group to give his remarks. And yes, it come here. She will be interpreted for you. She has to be interpreted. Yes, it's a good time. Good time. 尊敬的部长、女士、先生、朋友们，经中国政府与多米尼克政府及在座的各位朋友的共同努力、友好协商下 ，Under the joint effort and friendly mutual consultation of Chinese government and the Dominican government. 我们就中国原多米尼克玛格丽特公主医院维修扩建项目达成一致意见，共同签署本合同。We have entered into this contract on matters related to China-aided project of renovation and expansion of Princess Margaret Hospital. 对此，我仅代表湖南建工集团向中国多米尼克政府。表示最衷心的祝贺。On behalf of Hulan Construction Engineering Group Corporation,、uh, I will express sincerely congratulations to the government of Dominica and the government of China. 作为玛格丽特公主医院项目的施工单位 ，As the construction unit of Margaret Hospital， 我们湖南建工集团是中国一家实力雄厚、业绩遍布全球的综合特大型施工企业。Hunan Construction Engineering Group Corporation is a super great enterprise with projects over the world. After our construction team entered into the site, we will organize, we will organize uh, scientifically, manage steadily, and construct elaboratively. 中国多米尼克两国政府友好关系之间建设一个满意工程、精品工程。We'll do our best to build a high-quality project for the friendship of both parties. 最后，我们对此次多米尼克国家之行受到多米尼克国家政府的热情接待表示最诚挚的谢意。At last, I will, I will express my sincerely thanks for the welcome, well, warmly treatment by the Dominican government. Welcome to China. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. At this time, it is again my pleasure to welcome to the podium uh, Mr. Wang Quan Hu, First Secretary, Embassy, Embassy of the People's Republic of China, to offer some remarks. Honorable Dr. John Colling, the McIntyre Acting Prime Minister. Honorable Cancer Dalo, the Minister of the Health and the Environment. Honorable Eva Stephen, Parliament Secretary, Ministry of the Health and the Environment. Other members of the Cabinet. And Mrs. 
Helen Loy, the sector, the permanent sector Ministry of the Health and the Environment, staff of the Ministry of the Foreign Affairs and uh, Kerikam Affairs of the Ministry of the Health and the Environment, uh, mem members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Uh, it's my pleasure to attend uh, this uh, uh, the press reference uh, after one month I arrived there, Dominica. Yeah. Uh, I think today, just uh, one month, I uh, arrived here. I just enjoy the beautiful the country. And also, it's uh, my pleasure to attend the first uh, the big program after I arrived here. So the first uh, I went to congratulations the will sign the construction contract tonight. I think this is a very important state for the project after we uh, discuss and uh, make a decision to set up the project and uh, we complete the design and now we come to the new state to construction process. And uh, uh, the second point I want to express as uh, uh, during this uh, uh, communication, just as uh, Mr. Xie mentioned, uh, during the two weeks, we two sides have a uh, uh, very good uh, the communication. And uh, we have this understand each other, and uh, we uh, help each other. So I hope and I believe during the construction, we still need to the more communication and more support each other and uh, the understand each other. So I believe after the deal, uh, under this uh, close cooperation between our two sides, this uh, uh, project, uh, the hospital project, uh, will have this uh, new symbol of the friendship between our two governments. And uh, the, the last I want to say, the China as a developed country and as a responsible the country, we will uh, manage the construction proceed, and uh, I believe that we will have this uh, modeling of the art and the high quality, the hospital and all of these um, this, uh, the people of the Dominica will benefit for this uh, cooperation. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Quantico. At this time, I would like to call to the microphone the Honorable Minister for Health and Environment, our own, dear Dr. Kenneth Darrow. Please make yourself welcome. Thank you, P.S. Ray. Honorable Doc. Dr. John Colin McIntyre, Acting Prime Minister, Honorable Ivor Stevenson, Parliamentary Secretary in the Ministry of Health and the Environment, other cabinet colleagues present there in large numbers this evening, Mrs. Ellen Ray, PS, Ministry of Health and the Environment, also the chairperson of tonight's proceedings, Mr. Wang Wang Ho, I hope I said it correctly, First Secretary, Embassy of the People's Republic of China. <clears throat> and may I say that this is quite an achievement after one month, you obviously in the signing of this all important contract. Quite an achievement, sir. Um, representatives of the Yunnan Construction Engineering Group Corporation, staff of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and CARICOM Affairs, <clears throat> and also Ministry of Health and the Environment, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen. I am here this evening, I'm much honored and extremely elated on this the occasion of the signing of the contract for the construction of the new National Hospital between the Ministry of Health and Environment and the Yunnan Construction Engineering Group of China. Ladies and gentlemen, the journey which has brought us thus far has been quite an experience, and may I dare say at times tedious. And on behalf of the people and government of the Commonwealth of Dominica, I would like to express our heartfelt thanks and appreciation to the people and government of the People's Republic of China for first of all honoring their commitment to this all-important project and subsequently their immense patience and understanding. Once again, the People's Republic of China has shown what it means to be a true friend. And we want to assure you that this long-standing relationship that was forged some 10 years ago 
means a lot to each and every right-minded patriotic Dominican. And this is just another stilling example of the tremendous assistance and support we have received. And I can speak to the technical cooperation for medical services, provision of medical equipment, road networks, schools, bridges, stadium, and just as importantly, building capacity of our human resources. And I can safely say to speak to a number of Cuban medical students in Cuba and other professionally trained, um, sorry, China, Chinese trained um, personnel. In fact, right here with us, we have the young senator, um, Honorable Jai Zayer um, Benoit, who is making a student contribution in his field of study and also on the political scene in Dominica, a proud Chinese um, graduate. Today, however, as we celebrate the signing of the contract for the construction of the new national hospital, I would like to reaffirm the ministries and, of course, the wider government structure's commitment to work together even more closely towards a common goal of constructing a modern state of the art hospital. This undertaking by the government and people of Dominica, with funding committed by the government of the People's Republic of China, is of national importance, and the Ministry of Health and Environment is totally committed to ensuring a successful outcome. Today marks the actualization of this new facility and this state-of-the-art secondary health care institution, coupled with the other proactive steps that we have taken at the Ministry of Health, such as the recent increasing number of medical positions and also our increase in the specializing of students in various universities across the globe, will undoubtedly provide an enabling environment for the effective delivery of health care services while strengthening our ability to respond more effectively to the challenges associated with the provision of quality health care. The Ministry of Health and Environment recognizes the unwavering commitment and leadership of the Honorable Minister of State with responsibility for project planning and implementation, the Honorable Senator Ms. Miriam Blanchard. And I think she really deserves a hand of applause <laughs> for, for steering the ship thus far. Um, the Honorable Parliamentary Secretary, Mr. Ivor Stevenson, with responsibility for the environment, and other senior government officials who collaborated on the review of the contract, and I wish to applaud the efforts. I would also like to thank the many others who contributed to the finalization of this contract. And I would like to thank the Human Union Story Construction Team, the Technical Team from Dominica and the Permanent Secretary, and other staff of the Ministry of Health, the Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Public Works and Ports, and the other stakeholders for the expertise, insights, and suggestions which have made the signing of this contract a reality. And ladies and gentlemen, lest we forget the contributions of the former Minister of Health, my predecessor, Mr. Julius Timothy, who got the ball rolling on this all-important project. At this moment, it would be remiss of me not to express my deepest gratitude on behalf of all of us here, and by extension the people of Dominica, to the Honorable Prime Minister and Minister of Finance, the Honorable Rudolph Skerritt, for his devotion and his valiant effort in pursuing and securing the funds for what we expect to be a landmark project on its completion. In closing, I would like to say that I am confident that through our efforts and commitment, we will be able to accomplish even more and to be able to continue to develop even stronger relationships and friendships between the people of Dominica and the people of the People's Republic of China. I would like to take this opportunity to assure you that the Ministry of Health and Environment will do whatever it can in order to realize a successful completion of the new hospital. I thank you very much. Thank you very much, Honorable Minister for Health, for such an impressive remark. At this time, it gives me pleasure to welcome to the microphone the Honorable Colin McIntyre, Acting Prime Minister, to give the final remarks. Thank you, Piers. Let me first of all recognize the presence of the Honorable Kenneth Darrow, the Minister for Health and Environment, the Honorable Ivor Stevenson, the Parliamentary Secretary in the Ministry of Health and Environment, other Cabinet colleagues, Mrs. Helena Mroye, Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Health and Environment, representatives of the Hunan Construction Engineering Group Corporation, Mr. Wang Wang Hu. First Secretary, Embassy of the People's Republic of China, Staff of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and CARICOM Affairs, and Ministry of, of Health and Environment, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen.
First of all, good evening. This evening signing ceremony marks another landmark in Dominica, China relations. It brings us one step closer to realizing one of the far-reaching flagship projects to be implemented in or more than 10 years of diplomatic relations. It is indeed a fitting occasion to thank the government and people of the People's Republic of China for the unwavering commitment it continues to show in securing the health and well-being of overall development of Dominica. The challenges of health care remains a constant feature in the development goals of Dominica and developing countries alike, as well as all struggle to deal with the escalating cost, availability, and provisions of quality health care. It is within this context that this project has remained high on the priority list. Though the tenure of, through, this, through the tenure of this government, we remain committed to the completion of this hospital as an integral part of our health policy to improve the health of all Dominicans and those who visit our beloved island. Prime Minister Skerritt has asked that I convey his own appreciation to the, to the achievements of this phase and assure you that his thoughts are with us even if in body he is absent. I am aware that this has been a long and tedious process and I always knew that it is going to be a challenging journey towards completion, but we are optimistic that under the leadership of the Honorable Prime Minister, we are going to get a state-of-the-art hospital. My government is keen on getting the best and will continue to seek the support of PAHO in providing technical support to the Ministry of Health to ensure a swift transition. We are grateful that the Chinese have also committed to providing medical equipment, and we will also ensure the training of medical specialists to augment the service. I wish to extend my sincere thanks to the staff of the Embassy of the People's Republic of China in Dominica, the members of other members of Chinese delegation, the Minister of Health, the Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Health and Public Works, and the technical staff of both ministries for their unrelentless efforts in assuring a final document and make into their reality. I'd also like to specially thank the Minister Honorable Blanchard for her, you know, her work in terms of getting it to the state. Over the last couple of over the last couple of days, almost a week plus, Minister Blanchard has been working tediously in making sure we arrive at the state. And I, I must say special thanks to her. And of course the team of you know the Ministry of Health, who I must admit, through negotiations and discussions, that's why we are here today. Over the last couple of um, years since the signing, and of course we must understand that this is the last project of the four pillar projects when we signed diplomatic relations with, the, with China. And we want to thank the Chinese government, the people of China, for this gift. As we know, in Dominica, our people have become more and more accustomed to a high level of health care. And it's been a long time since we have had a new hospital. So this project, this flagship project, as a fourth pillar project for Dominica, has, you know, is going to go very far. We are seeing some of our nationals being trained right now in China. And we're looking at the specialization of some of our people, our doctors in China. So the, the new hospital with, you know, our Chinese um, trained Dominican doctors and, of course, their specialized specialization will really take this hospital to a different level. And I want to urge every single Dominican listening here today that this is a special gift from China, the people, the people of China and the government of China. We have to take this gift seriously. A hospital is not a joke. We understand the cost of um, health care. It is very expensive. We are, we, and this government, the Dominican Labour Party government, has the vision. The Prime Minister has always had the vision of a new hospital. This is why when he negotiated the four pillar projects, on signing of the diplomatic relations with China, a hospital was placed in that. And this is visionary leadership. And I would like to give the Prime Minister, even if he, in his absence, he's not here today, but we must acknowledge the importance of the Prime Minister in this relationship. In closing, I say to all our people, our Dominican people, that we must show you know, our gratitude to the people, to the government and people of China for this gift. And I want to say especially to the Hanon Company and, of course, in extension to the Embassy of China in Dominica and the Chinese government, we thank you very much for this new hospital. Thank you.
Thank you, Acting Prime Minister, for solidifying your commitment and that of the government to this important project. At this time, I think we come to the most important segment of this evening, the signing of the contract between the Union Corporation Engineering Group and the Minister of Health and Environment. Ministry of Health and Environment. <laughs> Dominica party. Okay, thank you very much. I think we need to give a, a round of applause. And this is really the beginning of a greater end. At this time, I think as we come to the end, I will call on um, Honorable Ivo Stevenson, Parliamentary Secretary for the Ministry of 
Health and Environment to offer the vote of tax. Thank you, Permanent Secretary. Honorable Dr. Colin McIntyre, the Acting Prime Minister. Honorable Kenneth Darrow, the Minister for Health and Environment. Other Cabinet colleagues, Mrs. Helen Ray, the Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Health and Environment. Representatives of the Human Construction Engineering Group of the People's Republic of China, Mr. Wang, the first secretary of the Embassy of the People's Republic of China.